Hello everybody. So this is kind of a continuation of the video about uh, uh, paying attention to chickens and learning about your own energy. So, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? So most of us are going around with our physical bodies, trying to change things within our physical bodies and, and so on. And that is all awesome because that's your vehicle. But we need to really start learning through the energetic bodies. So these invisible realms that are around us that are uh, computerized. So they're attached into the God source. They're attached into the Earth source, which is the God source. They're attached into all things, which is the God source, right? As we're learning and gathering information and computing it back up into our soul and our spirit is living through these experiences it's learning from here Just give that a little bit of thought, the importance of that. And you know what? <clears throat> Don't believe me. Play with it. Seriously. That's how I learned. Self-taught. All the way. Some courses here and there that led me from my self-teachings. And uh, it's an ever, never, ever, never ending batches of information and experiences of learning more and more and more. So this getting up every morning, going to work to pay all your bills becomes because so much of this is where the power is. It's where the true connection source power of the divinity of all that is within you. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's talk about that for just a minute, please. You can go places and just pick up on other people's energy. That's empathic, okay? Until you learn how to deal with being an empathic, and I mean deal, you learn to skill it. You learn to skill it. Instead of it overwhelming you over time, creating anxiety, angst, shutting things down, not getting enough information because everything is on static. There's just too much information coming in. The body can't handle it because everything has to filter through the physical body and back out again. So being empathic is learning how to take in the information Swirl it and twirl it. Send it back out. So you begin to hone it in and to skill it. So you can start picking things up before it creates static craziness of the chaos. So you can't plug every lamp into the same socket until you learn how to handle things. And then you learn how to get attachments so that you can take that amazing electrical socket and get more avenues plugged into it to get more light, more information, more education. I learned, gosh, decades ago, the importance of that just through my own trial and error and self-learning. And I also learned that my energy was sacred and that it was extremely important for me to contain my vessels with the highest integrity. That I had no right to take my crap into somebody else's frequencies into their vessel. didn't mean I had to fake it to make it. 
just meant for me would be like an example of maybe something occurred that really just had me bothered okay and very unpleasant and whatever but now I have to go do this say a family thing or something I don't just walk into the door like oh my god nor do I walk in the door and fake it out so that <clears throat> my energy isn't interfering with other people. Now I have to work on saying, okay, okay, this did occur and you're processing it, right? So let's give this a little process, a little whoo, sit, drop, breathe, sit, drop, breathe, sit, drop, breathe. And allow that to kind of simmer in a very quiet way so that I may go in and be available to be in the present moment with say this family event. Now, when you get really close into frequency alignments with other people, whether it be family, best friends, whatever it is, they're going to pick up on it. That's how it works. <clears throat> and you can either indulge that or simply instead of going into it, which then now you know that whatever it is, that once you begin to really share, it now becomes into their energy fields. And is this something that you really want them to know about or to process when it's really your process, right? And many people wanna come back and try to fix things or give you suggestions or try to help in some ways. And that's generally for those who are really close knit, but some people just wanna toss it back. Oh, I've done my job, now I'm gonna help you fix this. But really our lessons here is to learn how to master these energy fields all around us and how to be the best that we can possibly be in any given moment adding up to every given hour that adds up to any given day and i say this because we have so many videos out here right now talking about what's to come or what's in your face or what will be or what won't be giving timelines and dates. And so you're really empathetically going into what they're saying or it's going into what you're feeling through all of this, creating now that's on you because you can't unsee it and you can't unhear it. But when you learn how to master your energies, you can learn how to just simply listen to information. And you don't take it in. You just, okay, that's information, okay. I don't give it any 1000% merit of truth that that's exactly how it's gonna be. And oh wow, if so many of you are believing that timeline, I'm not so sure I like that. So, hey, I'm gonna go into my energy field and I'm gonna begin to create this harmonious balance of love and stability and I'm gonna anchor that into Mother Earth as Mother Earth anchors it into me and is in Holy Father, Holy Mother begin to work together in all of this, creating more of a ball of fire, but of healthy, happy, balanced fire so that I'm not in resistance to what's coming into me is resistance then feeds that energy field, right? And then I'm not giving it my seals of approval and all that other stuff because then again, that feeds that. So there, it's, it can get a little complicated, but whoever's listening to this might wanna to listen to this twice. But either way, you're understanding that there is an importance of your energy fields through empathy and of course, through what I had said earlier, which was the um, 
what was it, uh, the uh, pathological complex and the emotional contagion, contagion, C-O-N-T-A-G-I-O-N. I don't know if I'm saying that right, contagion. So the contagion is when When your energy changes, it's picked up and changes the energy around you. Let me say that again. When your energy changes, it is picked up and changes the energy around you. And that is what is happening when we're listening to too much incoming information from multitudes of people that are flooding the social media in the last 12, 24, 36 months. Okay, so if, if that has such power that I could change my energy, that could then change the energy of those around me, that is so powerful. But how would you use that power? For me, self-taught, learned a long time ago with my guides, before I learned anything about anything. Was never to corrupt or trespass against others. Never to corrupt or trust, trespass against others with my energy. Get your energy in line, folks. Be in line with that. Be aligned with the alignment that you're creating to the earth in which you choose to walk and live and breathe and be before this shows an expression, before this runs. So you'll find that sometimes you're just being the witness to all the things that are happening because your energy is so aligned that you're not empathically taking in and creating any disruption within your own energy fields because of how someone else is portraying something or feeling or energetically just putting out that you have control of your energy dial, your frequency dials. You have control of that. I can't stress that enough. They keep coming through with that. Stop, drop, breathe. Stop, drop, breathe. Really, truly connect with the beat of yourself, the breath, the beat, the God source, the divine, all that is and all that you are and all that you have the power the power and then begin to play with that that's what I used to do when I would go to work I would set my intentions of having completely aligned energy and as I would get out of my car and just even approach the front door I would set my energy tones And then in that, I would just flow through the day and I would only speak when the energy fields came through and it was something that needed to be said to contribute to. And I also asked that I was, if I was in the midst, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, of conversations or things that were going on, I wanted to be able to know immediately and boom, they would click it in and I would just walk away, create my own little distraction so I didn't have to go back and finish any of that. It was just, how do I just walk away gracefully, gracefully and not contribute to things that are corrupting and things that are trespassing of each other's energy. Because if I get right into it, like, oh, I know so-and-so said this, and so-and-so did that, so I'm right there in it. So now, how have I corrupted and trespassed? I've just confirmed whatever it is that they're feeling 
and doing right in a, very, in, a, in a not so healthy way, but I've influenced them. Instead of just being and listening, just simply being and listening and observing and being in a completely neutral space. Maybe it sounds like that feels terrible. I can hear that you're having it, some problems understanding that. And I wish you all the best to figure that out. You got this. Now you see how those were neutral responses? Neutral responses. So it's easy to get caught up in a lot of this identifying with other people's energy fields that may not really be yours but you wanna be a part of it, but really you don't wanna be a part of it because the actual gold mine is when you've got this and you don't, that doesn't influence you. You're influenced by your direct connection. And then your energy will automatically begin to have other people that are very similar to that coming towards you. And you'll be able to pick out the corruption and the trespassing from others that are not in that frequency. And we are human, so we're gonna go up and down that scale, but it's up to you to adjust this. It is totally your responsibility, totally. So it puts you into that present moment, that conscious, fully conscious mind of really hearing, seeing, feeling, touching with all of your physical senses, but also your spiritual senses. And not, not giving reactionaries to it that could cause corruption and trespassing. Could turn your dial down because you just allowed it. But it also allows you to kind of get in there and mingle with your guide team and your inner self in a place where you may respond or not, but in a, whatever your response is, it could be silence and just nodding and smiling and listening. Start playing with that. Start playing with that. Use your, your empathy as a, the best feeling tool you can possibly have without being corrupted or trespassed against your, your highest, um, your highest soul self. We'll play with that. Leave me some comments. Light love to each and every one of you. You've got all this. Just be you. Truly, truly be.